Think plants are just green and boring? Think again. Today, we're diving into the wildest, weirdest, and most insane plants on Earth. Flowers that smell like death, trees that explode, and plants that act more like monsters than anything in your backyard. Nature is the ultimate engineer, solving problems in the most bonkers ways imaginable. We'll break down the science behind these biological machines, chemical reactions, mechanical traps, and more. Buckle up. This isn't your grandma's gardening show. By the end, you'll never look at a potted plant the same way again. First up, the Titan Arum, better known as the corpse flower. This giant can reach 10 feet tall, but its real claim to fame is its stench, a mix of rotting fish, sweaty socks, and decomposing animal. Why the smell? It's a genius move to attract carrion beetles and flesh flies who think they found a feast. The plant uses sulfur-based chemicals, the same ones in rotten onions and stinky cheese, to create its signature aroma. The central spike, or spadix, even heats up to body temperature, vaporizing the stink and spreading it far and wide. Insects arrive, get covered in pollen and fly off to the next carcass, unwittingly pollinating the plant. What looks like one giant flower is actually a cluster of tiny flowers, all wrapped in a flesh-colored leaf. The corpse flower spends years as a single giant leaf, storing energy in a massive underground tuber. When it finally blooms, it's a high-stakes all-or-nothing event one shot to attract pollinators in just 24, 36 hours. The bloom is so rare and dramatic that people line up for hours just to catch a whiff. Would you be brave enough to smell it in person? Personally, I'd send in a robot. But you have to admire the commitment. This plant goes big and it goes stinky. The Titan Arum is a master of deception and one of the craziest plants on the planet. It's a reminder that sometimes the best engineering is also the grossest. Nature's solutions aren't always pretty, but they sure are effective. So next time you see a flower, remember, it might be plotting something truly foul. The corpse flower proves that in the plant world, weird wins. Now, meet the Venus flytrap, the carnivorous plant with a hair-trigger temper. This isn't a passive plant, it's a predator, snapping shut in less than a tenth of a second. Each trap has trigger hairs an insect must touch two within 20 seconds to set it off. It's plant security, two-factor style. The trap snaps using turgor pressure water shifts inside the cells, flipping the lobe shut in a blink. Interlocking teeth keep big prey in, while letting tiny bugs escape. No wasted effort. Once caught, the plant seals the trap and secretes digestive enzymes, breaking down the insect over days. Why eat bugs? Venus flytraps live in nutrient-poor soil so they evolve to supplement their diet with animal protein. They're solar-powered, but their vitamins come from their victims. After digestion, the trap reopens, revealing the empty exoskeleton nature's own horror show. Each trap only works a few times before dying off, but new ones are always growing. It's a perfect blend of clever mechanics and gruesome efficiency. The Venus flytrap blurs the line between plant and animal a stationary hunter, engineered by evolution. It's not just a plan, it's a green machine with attitude. The next time you see one, remember it's waiting, counting, and ready to snap. This is nature's answer to the ultimate bug problem. The Venus flytrap is proof that plants can be just as ruthless as any animal. It's a marvel of natural engineering. Deadly, precise, and endlessly fascinating. So would you dare to stick your finger in one? Just remember it's not just a plant, it's a predator. And in the plant world, that's as wild as it gets. Next, the Mimosa pudica, aka the shy plant or touch-me-not. Touch its leaves and they instantly fold up and droop a dramatic rapid movement you can see with your own eyes. This isn't shyness, it's a defense mechanism to startle herbivores and reveal thorny stems. The secret, water pressure. Specialized joints called pulvini lose water on one side making the leaf collapse. The signal travels electrically, like a plant's version of nerves. The effect can cascade down the branch, a chain reaction of fainting leaves. But here's the wildest part, Mimosa pudica can learn. In experiments, plants dropped repeatedly stopped reacting, remembering the stimulus was harmless, even a month later. No brain, no nerves, but a form of memory. Scientists think it's stored at the cellular level, maybe through calcium signaling or epigenetics. This challenges everything we thought about plant intelligence. Mimosa isn't just sensitive. It's smart, adaptable, and capable of learning. It's a plant with personality, and a reminder that the plant world is full of hidden complexity. Next time you see a shy plant, Know it might be smarter than you think. Plants not just alive, but aware. But time to crank up the danger. Meet the dynamite tree or Hura crepitans. Its trunk is covered in vicious spikes, but the real threat is its fruit. The pumpkin-shaped pods dry out, 
building pressure until, bang, they explode, launching seeds at 160 miles per hour. That's faster than a baseball pitch, and the shrapnel can injure animals, people, or even break windows. This is ballistic seed dispersal, nature's artillery. The explosion flings seeds up to 150 feet away, giving the next generation a head start. The engineering is all about storing mechanical energy in the drying fruit, then releasing it in a split second. As if that's not enough, the tree's sap is a toxic, blistering irritant, causing rashes, blindness or worse. Fishermen have even used it to poison fish, recap spikes, exploding fruit and poisonous sap. This tree is a biohazard. It's not just defending itself, it's on the offensive. If you hear a bang in the tropical forest duck, it might be a tree. The dynamite tree is evolution's answer to keep out. No subtlety, just shock and awe. You won't see monkeys climbing it, or animals hanging around underneath. Mission accomplished. It's the heavy metal rock star of the plant world. Nature's arsenal, all in one tree. Sometimes survival means going out with a bang. The dynamite tree proves it. Now for a true horror show. Hidnora africana, the monster mouth plant. Found in southern Africa, it looks like a fleshy, toothy mouth emerging from the sand. No leaves, no chlorophyll. This plant is a parasite, living underground stealing nutrients from other roots. Its only visible part is a bizarre flower that smells like feces, luring in dung beetles. The beetles crawl in, get trapped by bristles, and are held hostage for days. While inside they get dusted with pollen then finally released to repeat the process elsewhere. It's pollination by kidnapping. The flower's gaps let in just enough light to guide beetles out when it's time. The fruit, oddly enough, is edible and sweet. Nature's contradiction. Hidnora is a plant that breaks all the rules, no green, no sunlight, just a lurking, stinky monster. It's a sci-fi nightmare come to life, but it's harmless to anything bigger than a beetle. Sometimes the weirdest plants are the ones you never see, until they open their monstrous mouths. Hidnora africana, proof that nature's imagination is limitless. Meet Welwitchia mirabilis, the plant that never dies. It looks like a pile of shredded lettuce but some are over 2,000 years old. Found only in the Namib desert it survives with just two leaves, growing non-stop for centuries. The leaves get longer and more tattered but never stop. Welwitchia's secret, deep taproots for water and the ability to absorb fog through thousands of pores. It's a living fossil, in its own family and order. Nothing else like it. Its metabolism is incredibly slow, conserving every drop of water it produces cones and relies on insects for pollination. This plant is the ultimate survivor, thriving where almost nothing else can. Looking at a Welwitchia is like looking back in time. It's not flashy, but its endurance is awe-inspiring. In a world obsessed with speed, Welwitchia is a lesson in patience and persistence. It's the undead plant that refuses to die. Two leaves, two millennia, and a story of survival. Sometimes the weirdest plants are the toughest. For our final exhibit, let's get spooky with the snapdragon. The flowers are cheerful, but after they die, the seed pods dry into tiny, perfect skulls. Eye sockets, nasal cavity, gaping mouth. It's nature's memento mori. Ancient people believed these skulls had mystical powers, protecting against evil or curses. The shape is pure physics. As the pod dries, it splits into this gothic form. It's a blend of creepy and cute. A little goth, a little metal, from a garden favorite. Even the most ordinary plants can hide weird secrets. Next time you see snapdragons, look for the skulls beneath the petals. Nature has a dark sense of humor. Beauty and decay, life and death, sometimes they're intertwined in the most artistic ways. It's a Tim Burton garden, courtesy of evolution. The snapdragon's secret skulls are a reminder, never judge a plant by its flowers. Nature is the ultimate artist, and sometimes it goes full goth. From bug eaters and exploding trees to monster mouths and zombie plants, nature is wilder than any sci-fi. Which one blew your mind? The stench of the corpse flower, the explosive dynamite tree, or the memory-forming mimosa? Drop your favorite in the comments. I want to know what freaked you out most. For more wild science, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Thanks for watching. And remember, don't trust a plant that moves or explodes. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.